Hey guys, my name is Kelsey King, Star Diamond Beachbody Coach, and I wanted to make a video tonight for you guys um, going over getting started right calls. So it's really important when you sign a coach that you get your coach started off on the right foot. So the way that I typically get my coaches started off is I'll start by sending them a welcome email. Um, I typed up a sample welcome email and uploaded it into the file section of this group. So go ahead and check it out and kind of customize it for you and your business and how put your own twist on it. Um, after I send a welcome email, I'm looking for the new coach to respond to me, letting me know which type of coach they want to be. So this is according to their goals. So they'll either be a discount coach and they kind of want to remain a challenger and they just love Shakeology. And so they want their 25% discount on Shakeology and any future programs they might get. Um, that kind of coach, I'm going to make sure they're plugged into a challenge group and I'm going to treat them like a challenger. Another type of coach is a hobby coach or a part-time coach. So that's the kind of coach who um, might want to earn some money to cover their Shakeology and any programs, maybe earn a couple hundred here and there, uh, just some extra cash and treat Beachbody as their part-time job. Then there is a full-time coach, a business builder. So that's someone who eventually wants to work the business full-time. They want to treat Beachbody as their full-time job and are looking to replace their income with their Beachbody income. Um, so you're looking for your coach to let you know what kind of coach they're going to be, and then you can treat them accordingly from there. So like I said, if it's a discount coach, you want to make sure they're plugged into a challenge group and you're going to treat them like a challenger. If you have a hobby or a business building coach, you want to set up a getting started right call with them. Um, I like to provide them with the link to our team page on Facebook and let them request to join our team page. That way the ball's kind of in their court. Um, you could see who's really eager and requests to join the team page right away. You can see who maybe takes some time to think about it, um, just to get a feel for how this coach is feeling about the opportunity, okay? So you're gonna let them know how to set up a getting started right call with you. And in that getting started right call, I like to do Zoom calls just so we're face to face and feel like we're, it's a little bit more personable and you're just talking as if you were going to get coffee or something. Um, and in the Zoom call, there's two things that I've learned um, to help my getting started right calls move along. When I first started doing them, I wanted to do all the talking. Um, and I wanted to tell them a lot of things and I probably overwhelmed my new coaches. So make sure you're guiding the conversation, but let them do most of the talking. So something that we'll start out talking about is their goals. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ask what, obviously they're a new coach. They just signed up. I think we can all remember this feeling. It's kind of overwhelming. You don't know where to start. So I ask them what their goals are and I ask them kind of what overwhelms them. And then I'm going to validate however they're feeling. I'm going to maybe share a little bit of my experience and how I signed up and I like my upline can tell you, I asked like 20 questions. I wanted to know everything, but I didn't really know what exactly to do first. I think we all kind of feel that way. So then I kind of ask, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to get out of this call? Um, what do you want to work on? If maybe they signed up to coach and they're nervous about posting to Facebook because they're not used to posting so much or they're not used to taking selfies and sharing everything on Facebook. Um, so. Basically, I'm going to listen to whatever's worrying them and kind of talk them through it and kind of get to know their goals and where they want to take the opportunity uh, because we all know if this is going to be whatever you make it and kind of remind them it's okay to feel how you're feeling. It's okay to feel overwhelmed and I'm here to mentor you and I'm not going to do the work for you, but I'm going to help you along to reach your goals however I can. And I'm basically going to start off by giving them, based on what they tell me, simple assignments. So let's say a lot of times I have people who are worried about posting to Facebook so much. They're not used to posting on Facebook. So maybe one of their first simple assignments is just going to be, okay, focus on trying to get two posts a day onto Facebook. And maybe I'll give them some Facebook posting tips. Um, and then I'm just going to let them know, message me because I've been there, okay? So if you're feeling stuck, 
don't kind of fade into the darkness and just message me and I'm sure I'll have some advice or some ideas to help you out. So after they tell me a little bit about their goals and what is kind of overwhelming them about the business, um, we talk about how to launch your business. Because as we all know, you sign up to coach and Facebook is your storefront. Well, you have to launch your business. You have to let people know that you're a Team Beach Body coach. You have to share your story and where you're coming from and let people know that they can now contact you um, with their fitness goals. So I'll go over, come up with a game plan with them on how I think they can best launch their business and give them ideas of what to say. Um, I will also go over maybe the three vital behaviors just to get them started to remind them to continue being a product of the product um, and basically just be open and share about your journey on your Facebook. Um, and then depending on how ready to jump in they are, uh, we'll talk about Success Club. And when I talk about Success Club, I basically tell them we're going to break it down. You want to earn five Success Club points. That means you need to help at least three people get started on their fitness journey this month. And it's going to be, it's not going to be hard and I'm going to help you do it. And we're definitely going to hit it. It's a non-negotiable. Okay. So you want success club. You want them to feel like they've got this and they're going to hit it and you're not going to leave them hanging. You're going to help them get there. Okay. And then I usually will finish off the GSR call, um, letting them know when my next new coach training starts and that I'm getting them plugged into it and that that should answer pretty much any other questions they'll have as far as getting started and um, just kind of the rules and tips for the business. Um, so just in summary, I like to go over goals and what is overwhelming my new coach and I like to validate anything that they're feeling and um, give them any tips for to not feel overwhelmed about it. Then I like to go ahead and come up with a plan on how they're going to launch their beach body business on social media. Um, give them the rundown of the three vital behaviors and depending on how excited they seem about it, we're going to talk about success club and I'm going to let them know that they're going to hit it their first month as a coach and I'm going to help them do it. Okay. If you guys have any questions about getting started, right calls, go ahead and comment in this group. If you have not done a getting started right call with your current coaches, make sure you touch base with them and you've kind of gotten everything covered with them and then get ready to be holding getting started right calls with all of your new coaches from here on out because it's super important we get them started off on the right foot. All right, 